James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is April 1st, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at our electromagnetic field, Earth's electromagnetic field. We've had some huge incidents of something bursting through our field and of course that has affected the Schumann resonance. Let's take a look at the Schumann resonance. This does somewhat correspond to the space weather that we saw but it does not correspond perfectly and we saw very light space weather with a KP4 index today only. Now ladies and gentlemen these are unbelievable spikes. They've pushed the geophones as far as they will go here. And really, it looks like it started at 11 and dissipated at about 1,500. So about four hours is all we saw. Although we saw a lot more space weather than that. Let's take a look at the space weather real quick. So from 11 to 1,500 UTC time, you will see here that the space weather starts at 9 UTC time. Uh, and really, the first bar will be from 9 to 12. Second bar would be from, well, 12 to 15. And the third bar would be from 15 to 18. So it somewhat corresponds within that time period but it doesn't correspond perfectly. And we never really saw a huge impact from anything at any point, space weather-wise. Back to the Schumann resonance, folks. This flew off the charts. So did our electromagnetic fields off the charts incredibly. This spiked so high that there's no telling how high it went. We know it went higher than 105 hertz. Uh, they built these models thinking that they would never go that high, but we're getting these vibrational occurrences that are just incredible, folks. Just incredible. And again, this one was from about 1300 to about 1500 UTC time. All right, here we see the Schumann resonance popping off from about 11 to about well, 1,400, uh, and we see that it's stronger than when the stronger solar weather hit a day before, which did not correspond timely either. Uh, this is twice as strong, and again, remember, the other was supposed to be an X flare. This was an M flare, and we only saw a KP4 index. Very light, if even a geomagnetic storm. We can see here the geophones have been lit up, like Lewis lit, uh, and they are going off. They really have been for hours, but more so over the last few hours. Each strip is an hour. They're in 15 minute increments. 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. So I'd say for the last five or six hours, we've been off the hook. And please realize it registered on every instrument that we have. This is the real deal. And I've never, ever seen something register on our instruments like this has, okay? Our geophones, our ULF, our ELF, our two SR frequency, it's just slam, the whole thing. This would be the biggest reaction I personally have seen. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.